All right, Brandon, thank you. Meanwhile, the fans are continuing to pour into the Museum of African American History to say their final goodbyes to Aretha Franklin. Her her gold hearse was brought in to the museum earlier this morning for the second full day of viewing. The first day drew over 15,000 people and thousands more are expected to come through today. Our Paula Tutman is there outside talking to many folks coming in and out. And what's the crowd like today, Paula? Hi, Rhonda. There are a lot of differences. Start with what Aretha is wearing. Yesterday she was in red. Today she's in a shimmering baby blue gown with matching shoes. You can see that the crowd behind me is going in. I don't want to say they're more, but the crowd does feel a little more dense. And they're also a lot more emotional today. Yesterday it was more festive. Today people are very pensive and emotional. But I also found this gentleman, Marco uh, Lorenzetti, and he is a social documentary photographer. And you're seeing this through an entirely different lens, literally. So tell us about this camera. Well, it's an 8x10 film camera. It's um, handmade in Chicago, and it's a large format. And, and you like it, why? Well, I like it because it, it renders uh, the images with an incredible amount of detail and acuity, and uh, it requires a certain amount of participation between the subject and the photographer to make a good picture. So he's working on this documentary on how societies deal with death. I'm going to actually try to find out more about that because I know it's a long-term project, but this is just one of the ways people are looking at these stories through different lenses. This lens, this lens, and this very, very interesting lens. Rhonda? All right, Paula, thank you so much. And we do hope that you will join us on Friday. That is the day of Aretha Franklin's private funeral. And we will have special programming getting underway at 9 o'clock in the morning for complete coverage of the funeral. We will carry it live for you both here on the air, also online and on the Local 4 Facebook page.